Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mass Effect. Gotta go to Atlas Station and finish out this whole rigmarole. Oh wow, it's like actually getting like later in the day. You can see it got like darker. Or maybe not, maybe I'm just going crazy, but it seems like it's later in the day. I have no idea. Oops. Out of weird curiosity, I can't actually save while I'm in the hammerhead. I'm not sure if it's the actual hammerhead or something else going on here. Well, here we go. Atlas station. Is this going to be a whole hammerhead area or is it just going to throw me right in? Honestly, either way works, but I'm just genuinely curious. Oh gosh, the loading areas. All right, we'll take Tali and Miranda again, because I'm imagining I might get unique dialogue from them. I have two squad points now. I'm level 19. Wow. I think I want to save up for more tech armor. Ah, oh, jeez. I very much am worried that I'm not going to be able to actually get... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to evolve my armor. That's really sad, actually. Oh, no, we're going straight in, I think. No hammerhead area. All right. You're in, Commander. Good. I'm getting some troubling readings here, though. The VI is trying to upload its program directly from your location. Get to the server room and shut down the core before it can... Hmm. Oh my god. You terrible, terrible person. So his brother was autistic and he basically forced him. What? But are there goodies in there? Hit! God damn it. It's corralling us again. I guess we're going this way. This guy's terrible. But we knew that something was going to happen like that. Arriving at level two. Did we... Begin decomposition simulation? Resetting elevator. Arriving at level three. What? Arriving at level two. Arriving at level one. Arriving at level three. Arriving at level five. Arriving at level seven. Um. Heading to cover. I'm taking cover. Can you take cover on the proper side of things?
Okay. So what does all this stuff do? I just did nothing, or...? I'm so confused as to what all the buttons were doing, or if it was a puzzle or something. I have no idea. terrible person like seriously your brother is not a plaything um can I can I have the code snippet okay there it is credits is there anything else ooh damaged geth Can it? Oh, good. Is there anything else? VI server console. Okay. So it's a, I need to get in there somehow. I don't think there's anything else I can interact with here. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I scanned that geth before I moved on. Let me guess. Gonna not let me go in there? Yep. Well then. Get ready. Don't be surprised if this button summons a reaper. Oh good, we're alone. That's what I like. The virtual environment, huh? Oh good. Kill David. But I, the game's gonna make me. Well, maybe not actually. Depending on how things go. And I can go this way. Geth are just there. They're not attacking me. I mean, square root of nine to six point oh one is thirty point one. Square root of nine to twelve point oh four is thirty point two. David, can you repeat my notes from Thursday's experiment? Square root of nine hundred eighteen point oh nine is thirty point three. David, please pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry, you didn't deserve that. Would you mind repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment? Log 
137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of Geth obedience. End dictation now, David. Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. And how are you feeling today? Square root of 924.16 is 30.4. Earplugs would be good. <laughs> What does that do? Was just to fight Geth here, I guess? No idea. I guess I'll just examine more disturbances. Except there was definitely harm. Ah. That door is open now. Wall safe. I'll take the money. I know, David. I'm trying. I'll, I'll get there, man. Now I just want to end it for him. I mean, if there's a way that I can save him, obviously. I would like to do that, but... I don't know if that's a possibility, or... Like, maybe? Uh, I, I don't know. Inside, I hope that I can do something for him, but... I don't know. Does it now? Okay, well, it's bringing up a big boy then. You not. All right. Anything else? I guess I'll grab ammo before I go down. Thankfully, they're not like throwing everything at me while I'm alone. That would actually be kind of mean, I guess. Okay. Ah, I see. Well, where's the next node? I thought that it would summon people to fight with it or something, but I guess not. Poor David.
Oh. It was making death. Oh, okay then. Well, there's David. Can I help him? your own brother into an experiment I know how this must look but I never intended any harm to come to him you must believe me it's not like I planned this it was an accident seeing David communicate with the Geth it all seemed harmless and before you knew it you were running your own private hell I had no choice the demands were incredible the elusive man doesn't broke a failure any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody I was asked to find a way to avoid that. And how many have already died for this project? More souls than will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. If my work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons, my conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. Better well cared for, lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. Square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. What I've done to David is unethical. If he dies, it's unforgivable. Let me take care of him. Please. Quiet. Please, make it stop. Hmm. No, no, I'm not leaving him with I've you. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! <laughs> you even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Square root of 912.04. Okay then. Well, oh hey, we get more health. Well, that was dark. <laughs> Jesus Christ, game. 
Okay then. I hope the next thing we do is a little happier than that. My lord. Ugh. I'm tempted to go do Tali's thing next, because I don't know. I don't know. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'm sure I have. I want this upgrade first. There we go. More health. Alright. Dr. Archer's... I understand you've taken Dr. Archer's brother to Grissom Academy. I'm familiar with the work. Should be a good home for him. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions, but they did provide a breakthrough we've been solely lacking. Go fuck yourself, elusive man. Ah. <sighs> I don't care if it's set your efforts back years. I, I genuinely don't care. Okay. So we're all done here. That was an entire DLC completed. Oh no. Wait, where am I going? Okay, this way to the mass relay. Somehow made it back with very little fuel. Okay. So we're all done with that. God, it's nice to have things like... Just crossed off the list. We could go do the Rescue Dr. Kenson thing. I don't know what this is. I think it's another DLC of some sort. I, uh, I'm very wary about going here in case it activates the Reaper IFF mission, which I really don't want. Like, I want to do the Firewalker thing, but I don't want to activate that by accident. Um... I don't feel like doing the Krogan thing. I guess let's do this and we'll save Tollies for next time. Because I don't necessarily want to start somebody's loyalty mission after that. I learned from last time where I accidentally did a loyalty mission <laughs> right afterward. <laughs> or uh, two, one back to back to each other and I was like, ooh, that's not good. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go through this solar system real quick and... Uh, Scan everything I need to. Alright, so it looks like Batarians. Okay. If it's Batarians, then we will... I don't know, bring Grunt and uh, Garrus with us. Just real heavy firepower. Don't have anything to put in. Oh! It's just Shepard? Oh god, right! You're alone for this mission. Ooh. Eh. Okay. I forgot about this. Uh... I hope I have not just made a giant mistake. At least I have my second gun. I'm level 19. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy, I hope. You know what? Hope I can do this. I mean, I should be fine, right? I'm pretty powerful. They've seen us. Well. Okay. I think I need to switch to my pistol for some really heavy damage. Because if there's Varen down here, the pistol should be able to do a good bit on them. Yep, sure does a good bit of damage. Get your hands off me. Uh, how do I get over there? Can't go that way anyway. 
I guess I have to cut power to it somehow. And that's why I'm using my pistol. Let me guess, goodies back here that you can't get otherwise? What the hell did I find? Alright, hold on. Ah! Okay, I can't get through there. But this should open it up? I see. Is this just goodies then? It is. I hear humans are scurrying like vermin on the asteroid belt. Is anywhere safe from them? We should arm a mission to flush them all out. Okay then. I'm glad I came over here. It does make me wonder, like, so that'll, that'll put the fire back over there and let me go through here. It does make me wonder if I could have gone to that one door. I hope not. Guy up there. I just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. Can I get through this stealthily at all? Out of sheer curiosity. Oh, can you? Holy crap, can you fully stealth mission this? I mean, granted, I don't entirely know which way I'm going, but... Oh, crap. Did I just miss out on stuff because I dropped down here? I hope not. Damn it. Damn it. Did I miss stuff? I really hope not. <sighs> I probably did, for all I know. Damn it. getting
Am I loading the car? I'm very confused as to what I'm doing here. I could bring it all the way here, but what does that give me? Um, did I do something wrong or? I'm so confused by this. Oh. I can get back up here and I can do something with this. Or can I do something with this or am I going crazy? I think I might actually be going crazy. Maybe I can't do anything with it. Okay, I guess we'll just move on. I don't fucking know. Oh. Okay then. What was that? There was something I could interact with here. Oh, it's a door. Who are you? What are you 
doing, Dr. Kenson? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go! Ready. I'm gonna take whatever's in that locker. I guess we're going this way. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. <laughs> he was just like, okay, I've been shot. All right. If we're going loud, I guess we're going loud. Not that loud. All right, Kenson. Can you not, though? Ow, 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 ow. What the? I got stuck on something. Okay. There's a security console. You said you can hack this, right? They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack the way out. Oh good. That'll be easy. Hello? There they are. Ow. God damn, they actually hurt. I said I wanted a challenge, I guess. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Which door? That door? We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. Yeah, I'm going. They're coming up from below. Other side, go. Ken! What the fuck? Where? Where'd you even come from? Hello. That's bad. This is double bad. There's something over there that I can interact with, I think. Bringing down their orbital tracking network. Watch the other side. More enemies on the elevators. The other side? Which side? The one the original side? Ow. Yep. Sure enough. Dang, I miss having grenades. There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. Taking 
Okay. No. Down to secondary weapons. That did it. Let's move. Man, for some reason I was expecting a big freaking mech. Thank God it did not happen. Okay. Can I see your skills? No. Oh, you have incendiary stuff. That's cool. You have overload? Cool. Why can I not get a... There we go. Oh, this is where we came from. There's a PDA. Wait. Oh, I'm glad I didn't leave this. This looks interesting. Oh, I'm really glad I didn't leave that. That would have been bad. Really bad. I guess that's the reason to move that crate and keep it in the air, huh? All right, I think that's everything. Well, now that's everything, I guess. Anything out here? Nope. I'm really hoping I didn't leave anything behind. But it doesn't feel like I did, so... <laughs> Burners. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reaper's invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Uh, what? Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yard. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Huh. 
I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. How are you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. All right. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to project base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Okay. Oh, okay. Shipping records, I will collect that. I don't know what that does, but... Oh, it just gives me money. Anything else I can salvage and take while I'm here? Ooh, palladium. Alright. Apparently there were achievements I missed there, though I don't know if they're... Well, the, the, the in-game achievements, I guess. If I had done that totally silent, which actually means you have to miss things, or if you kill absolutely everybody, which I didn't kill the two people that were on the left outside. So, who so cares, though? Not a big deal. Back up and running. Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this Relay must be destroyed. Oh. You have to get in the elevator to use it. Ooh, I can bypass a door, can I? 
We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. Do you have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just, what? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh my god. Okay. I think I have a moment. Your galaxy is in sight. Your final days are at hand. Is this just a giant arena? This sucks. Hello there. Oh, come on. Oh, get, take cover, goddammit. Oh my god! Ah! Taking out my armor immediately. Jesus. Okay, this sucks. Deal with all of this. The what? God, there is a mech. That's not good. Come on, where is it? There it is. My freaking SMGs. Alright. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Alright, armor. Oh, come on. Okay, this gives me a little bit of space.
Okay, need my armor back. Okay. Hello, armor. Holy hell. Okay. Armor recharged if I can't. What the? Okay. That's gone. Armor recharge. Whoa, what the what? Did my armor come back and get destroyed immediately? Okay. Think I'm okay? Okay, I think I'm alright. Wait, object row power level? Wait, what? Did I fail or did I do it? I got an achievement for surviving all five waves, though. Take it to the med bay and patch her up. We want Shepard alive. Um. Huh? Could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Okay. God, why do these things walk so slowly? What do I have to do? With the power junction, maybe? Okay, that was what I had to do. Apparently, I'm actually timed on this mission. So I have two hours, basically, to finish the rest of the DLC. We'll probably do it fine. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually timed, huh? All right. Well, I guess we'll continue this all next time. Thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get to the end of this next time. Bye bye.